There are two types of layers in ZBrush. You have the layers up here, and I believe this is for the 2D functionality of ZBrush. But the ones we are actually going to talk about is the layers in the tool palette. You can create a new layer by pressing this button. Now a new layer is created and is in record mode. So now you can sculpt. And if you want to stop this layer from recording, you can either press record and it stops, or if I go back to record, you can simply grab this slider down here and you see what's happening in the in the mesh. So if I go to position zero, I go back to the position that I had, and if I go the other way, it starts taking everything into the other way. So it's, it acts very much like a morph target. So if I bring it all back to position one, I can still push this a bit more using this slider down here. You have visibility, so you can either hide or see the layer. You can change the name of the layer by pressing this button right here. So you can duplicate a layer and that will give you twice the amount. You can also delete the layer by pressing this button. So delete that layer, delete that layer. You can go back and keep recording on this layer. It actually, if I try to sculpt right now, mesh has deformation shape layers because I have this layer active. I can sculpt again if I hide that layer. Then I can bring it back again. Or if I want to change something in this layer, I can simply press record again and sculpt some more stuff in here, some more bubbly stuff. And and now I have some more stuff in that layer. Using the arrow keys in your keyboard, you can move between layers, which is the same thing as using these keys down here. And you can change your position by using these arrows, not those ones. <laughs> so it's a bit like the layer palette. I brought that layer up, I can bring that layer back down again. So you can invert the layer. I just bring this up, and if I press invert, you can see what happens in that sphere. This is a bit confusing. Let me just um, do it down here. So press record. Do something there. And now if I press invert after I stop recording. Now this is something that happens a lot. You press recording, nothing happens. So you can just grab that. So invert layer. Now it's just an inversion of that layer. Pretty simple. Now you have to, these two two other buttons. So if I have something else, I can press this button and it will merge this layer with this layer. So it merges down. So the two become one. So if I press my control, create a mask here, and then just quickly go into my standard brush, turn off Z-Ed, turn off RGB, select here a color. I'm just gonna paint a color here. Now if I press, if I stop recording, obviously, and then I press this button, you see that it's spread it out to three layers. So I got my shape layer here. I got my paint layer down here. And my mask layer, you don't see it because you need to press record to see it. So I got my mask set up right there. So if I want to keep this changing, changes forever, I just press bake all. And it kept everything in there. Of course, the mask is gone but the poly paint and any sculpture details that you added will stay there so i hope you like this video thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already press the little bell to get some notifications about new videos support me on patreon and i'll see you on the next video